Hey, and so bringing the World of Warcraft, and today we're going to talk about add ons. There's been a number of folks that have commented and asked what kind of add ons I use or what kinds of configurations I use with certain add ons. So today I'm going to go through the list of add ons that I use and give a brief explanation of each one. Of course, after this, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on add ons, feel free to leave them in a comment below. We'll start off with Dominoes, which is an add on for adjusting your hotbar. I'm not too fond of some of the visual clutter that comes from the default UI, so I opted to take some of that stuff out. All I really want to see is you know, just the buttons. And I also want a solution that would have certain buttons to be accessible, but not something that I want to see all the time. So Domino's is a good pick for me. You can see that I have two bars at the bottom, but I have a third one that I have configured in a certain way. Instead of having a straight horizontal bar, I have it kind of compressed, so you see a 4x3 uh, kind of box-like shape. On the side, I have another bar for less frequent use for like potions and food. But below that, I have a hidden column that only appears when my when my mouse cursor appears over it. This has a few less frequent buttons or abilities or items that I, well, you know, I use less frequently, but I still want to have access to them. Just as well, I have the main menu bar also hidden towards the bottom of my screen. Domino's also lets me set hotkeys pretty quickly. All I need to do is go into the configuration mode, hover over the button that I want to change, change it, or even clear the shortcut and apply something else. Next we have tip tag that lets me move the anchor of my tooltips. There's a lot of options to it but I don't really use any of them. The only thing that I do is you know set the anchor and move it to where I want it to go and you know just make sure that it's not encumbering any anything else or obstructing my view of anything else and that's it. For my unit frames I use a pretty old add-on called Pitbull. This lets me do a lot of manipulation with my unit frames and the ones that I care about are the unit frames for myself, my target, my target's target, and maybe my focus. You notice towards the bottom of the screen what looks like a personal resource bar, but that's actually my, my self-portrait. As a tank, since I don't have any mana to worry about, all I care about is displaying my HP values. And I have it at the bottom of my screen because personally I, I kind of have a problem these days with looking all the way over to the top left corner uh, just, to see, just to see my health. That's why you see Scotto over there, which I'll get into later. You can see my target and my target's target just to my right. Again, this makes it just a little bit easier to see. Of course, like many of the other unit frame models, you can adjust all sorts of things such as the font, the size, everything. Towards the upper right hand side of the screen, you can see the UI for World Quest Tracker. This is a super useful add-on for guiding yourself through world quest content. In the map, you can look at the quest that you're interested in, click on what you want, and that's going to show up on your quest UI. On top of that, if you're partied with others, you'll be able to see what kind of quests that you share. That particular functionality isn't a 100% perfect, but it gives you a good idea and, well, it's still overall really useful. Next is Bagnon, which, to my memory, is a really old add-on when it comes to those uh, all-in-one bags. The search option within Bagdon has been around for a while, and only recently did Blizzard add functionality of its own. From it, you can use certain filters to identify things a little bit faster, such as whether or not it's a rare, uh, a common, rare, or epic item, whether or not it's a cooking ingredient, or food, or plate gear, any of that stuff. WoW Instant Messenger, or WIM, is something that I personally enjoy more than using the, tab the, the chat tabs when it comes to talking to multiple people. You know, now that I think about it, I think the old window system is is pretty is pretty dated compared to the tab system that seems to be a lot more popular when it comes to chats uh, or like internet browsing. I don't know, but for me, I think I just like moving around windows uh, to organize them. Like let's say like you know back in the day when I used to organize a lot of pugs, I would get a bunch of whispers, so I would move certain windows to a certain spot of if, okay, I'm gonna take this person and. Uh, you know, maybe if I'm not going to take someone or if I'm on the fence, then I'll move them over to the side. To, to me, I just like having that sort of control and well, I guess I just have kept this add-on going since. Finally, we have Dynamic Cam, an add-on that I've talked about a whole bunch of times by now. You might have seen other videos with Dynamic Cam or other similar add-ons if they exist where you can kind of get a really immersive looking, almost kind of single player experience. Like you talk to an NPC and then suddenly it zooms in on them, or you encounter a large box and then suddenly the camera pans out and you can see the, the, the full stature of the boss. Or if you're moving back and forth or targeting multiple things in different areas, the camera just kind of moves around, kind of like a shaky cam. For me, I can't stand it, at least not in, at least not in WoW. All I care to do was to zoom out a little bit more, but be able to see a little bit further out in the distance. If you're only interested in that effect, you'll need to go into the settings menu, turn on dynamic pitch, and change the base field of vision pad or whatever that's called, 
to 0.5. This will move your character's avatar from the center of the screen to a little bit below that. What that's going to ultimately do is give you a little bit more real estate above your head so that way if you're targeting something large or you're just looking at something really big you'll be able to survey a little bit more of it. Or is it Deja or Deja? You know, I'm not sure, but I use this character stat to add on to take a look at certain numbers. Although, to be honest, I don't know why I still have this add on. I mean, it's cool to have like the reference numbers so I can. I don't know. I don't know why I. <laughs> I don't know why I have uh, access to all these reference numbers. I mean, yeah, there were complaints from players about how you know, they wanted to see certain stats and Blizzard taking that away and then just in the UI made it so that. Uh, it made it a bit too simple for him. But I, for one, don't really care about certain things like what my weapon damage is. But I have it, because some people will ask about what my attack speed is, and, well, this is how I answer them. Bad Boy is a favorite add-on of mine when it comes to controlling spam, and it's pretty easy to use. Your chat window just tells you, hey, there's spam, left-click here to, to report it and, and make it go away, and that's about it. Cell Junk is a simple, easy, useful button you sell junk. By contrast though, Trade Skill Master is a complicated monster that I've talked about in a number of videos and give a, and gave a few tutorials on. Obviously it's going to be great for auctions, I also use it to manage inventory across multiple characters, I use it to get stuff out of the mailbox really fast, and I can mass mail things to multiple people. It even lets me send all my disenchantable items to a certain person with just the click of a button. Pawn is a popular add-on to assess your gear. I just plug in the stat weights from my favorite theory crafter or website, and it'll very easily tell me what is great and what I should avoid. As a tank, I find this to be less useful than, say, a DPS player. But of course, with all the gear that's been dropping for us over the past couple of expansions, and especially with Legion that it can drop multiple versions of the same kind of gear, an add-on like Pawn can save a whole lot of time and frustration when it comes to sifting through and finding out what's best for you. So finally, let's go through the more combat-related add-ons. Deadly Boss Mods, or DBM, is a pretty obvious staple for most players. Similar to Dominoes, I moved around some of the notifications and bars and what have you in such a way that I don't have to like move my eyes too far off screen. SCADA is what I use for damage meters these days because it's pretty easy to use the left and right click functions to very quickly go from meter to meter. The cursive is a super old if not ancient add-on that I still use for the few things that I can still cleanse. And it is still useful for me. I just have the SCADA frame hovering right over the raid frame and if I see something glow I hit it. Mixed scrolling battle text is what I do to display damage numbers. And by damage numbers, all I really care about are the crits. There's already kind of enough visual clutter in my face, and the default settings for this add-on are, at least in my opinion, almost as cluttered as the Blizzard default. So I kept it minimal, just compressing it to only display crits and having it show on just one side of the screen. As a tank, I still use Omen as kind of a just-in-case measure. For me, visually, it's a little bit easier to see my threat there as opposed to just looking at the tooltip. Monitoring threat is almost a non-issue these days, but like I said, just as a just-in-case measure. But when it comes to tanks, like let's say uh, I have a substitute tank coming in, double-checking threat performance is something that I'm interested in in case either, either the other tank or I am pulling way too much. So that pretty much rounds up all the add-ons that I use. If you guys have any alternative suggestions, hey, feel free, I'd be glad to at least take a look. If you have any specific configuration questions about these add-ons, just let me know in the comment below. Otherwise, I think that's a wrap. You guys have a good one, and stay breezy.